Hi, Pastor Brian here and Pastor Jordan, and we are not quite the distance that we should be from each other, but we're going to be in just a moment. So we wanted to take a minute and just kind of update you on what's happening here at the church, what's happening in regard to our services, and of course we're trying to be um, sensitive to and compliant with the guidelines that are being put out by uh, both our federal and state government. So we announced on Sunday that we would have our midweek study here at the church. At that point, uh, the number, the gathering number was 250. Well, since then, Sunday afternoon, it went to 50. And today, the president suggested that it go down to 10 people. And um, I was just having a conversation with my friend, Dr. Lou Wing, who's part of the coronavirus task force. And Lou said that this is really a good idea. And he said that this is the way we, we've been talking about, the doctors have been talking about flattening the curve. This is the way it's gonna happen. So we wanna comply. We want to um, love our neighbor. And we think that uh, not helping to spread the virus is a way that we're gonna do that. So we're not canceling our midweek study. We're just gonna do it online. And Jordan and I were talking today about how this is an opportunity for us to, I think, develop our online ministry. And so we're going to take advantage of that. But we're going to bring you the Bible study through Isaiah on Wednesday nights. We're just going to be doing it online. So you can catch us at live.cccm.com. But there's some other things that are happening. And Jordan, uh, why don't you tell everybody else about some of the other stuff that's going on? Yeah, so the big thing that I've been saying that we've been saying is we have to find a way to be the church. And I was talking with Pastor Kellen Criswell, and he was saying that the church, is they not only gather uh, to study God's word, to hear from God, to hear and to know uh, about Christ whom we worship, but they are sent yeah. out. And like Brian said, we are living out our mission by loving our neighbor. And one of the ways we can love our neighbor yeah. is by following the direction that President Trump and the federal government and the state governments are giving us. And so one of the ways that we're doing that is we've put on the website our spiritual toolkit. Um, we you know, are constantly thinking creatively about ways that we can strength, strengthen the ministry that's going on in this really uncertain time. Uh, we're putting our heads together to figure it out. Like, yeah. how can we creatively minister uh, to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa and the people who are listening in online? And how can we be the church for those people? And we have some exciting things that we're praying through, that we're thinking about, know that some of those things could be forthcoming in the days ahead. But like I said, uh, we have to find a way to be the church, and we think the best way to be the church right now is to embrace the mission of the church. And our mission here at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa is to per is pursuing Jesus renewal by reaching, equipping, and loving people in Orange County and beyond. And we are right now definitely embracing the loving yeah. the people of Orange County and beyond. Yeah, yeah. you know, a lot of people don't realize this, but... Um, it was actually one church in South Korea that is kind of responsible for the spreading of the virus there because they continued to gather. And so um, some people have been afraid, like, oh, this is sort of a government takeover of the church. Uh, some people have even insinuated, for those of us that have, have uh, stopped meeting and gone to online, that we're being intimidated or we're acting out of fear. Nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, there is no government takeover of the church. We're not acting in fear, we're trying to act in wisdom. We pray about all of this and we feel like the Lord is leading. This is a season and it's really a time for us to trust God to, in kind of new ways, right? Absolutely. Because <laughs> we get in our groove and our routine and our habit and all of a sudden that, that's all just dismantled. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to learn how to trust God in this context. So I'm totally confident that this is gonna pass and that we're gonna be able to you know, resume our normal thing. But for the time being, and especially these next 15 days, that's what the president and uh, uh, Dr. Anthony Falke, that mm. both of them emphasized the 15 days. So, yeah. so we're gonna go with that. Yeah, so we're on mission for the next 15 days. We will get through this. Yep. And by God's grace, I think we're gonna be stronger as the Lord brings us through it. Yeah, 
So uh, we'll continue to update as we need to. We'll continue to stay connected. And once again, cccm.com, that's where you're going to be able to find a lot of stuff. Our uh, church Facebook page also will be uh, posting uh, different things there as well. So praying for you, love you, and uh, trusting God to do great things in these days.